Hi there, welcome to my craft table where today I'm going to share with you a fun idea for wrapping gifts and it is clear cellophane bags. Uh, the idea behind these is that you can actually see everything that's inside the bag. Uh, my own personal feeling is that anything inside a cello bag just looks a little fancier and a little glistenier, shinier, because it actually is, because a cellophane bag is shiny. I really like to use these at uh, showers that I help give, where we have shower prizes. I really like people to be able to pick out something that they can use. So um, I put them in cellophane bags so they still look uh, thoughtful and festive but the person can uh, pick out what they like themselves. So I'm just gonna show you some basic ideas here. Anybody knows how to put stuff in a bag and, and tie it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you uh, a couple things here. So here is the cop gift in a can that I explained in another video. This is something I'm giving my son, who is a cop. And so that looked, that looked nice just like it is. That's fine, however, I think it looks more fun in a bag. There is always going to be a seam. You can see that seam right there. Let that be in the back. And then you pull it down to the bottom. And put everything to the front where you can see it. So um, I want to show you this black ribbon. Okay, you want to know what this is? I'm sure you do. This is a loop that came with one of the tops that I got. You know how they have those and they you hang them on the hanger with the loop? I cut them off and I save them and I'm already using it. So I just tie my little bow on here. For a guy, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bow. So actually for him, I'm just gonna do a double tie and that'll be plenty. The tag is already inside, so he already knows it's for him. And then once I put that on top, I like spreading it out. So it just looks a little more fun. And I'll trim that off both sides. And there I've got one, okay? So, now another thing I like to do is get mugs and put other little gifts in them. So I've got a little towel and uh, some gloves for the shower. So, I will put everything in here. I hope this is wide enough. Yep. Okay. This one does not have the seam in the front because it's it's uh, actually got seams on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one up. So now I'm going to just do the bow on here. And this time they're facing opposite directions from if you watch the bow video. One is facing up to toward Maine and the other one's down toward California. So I'm going to do the same idea which is to make a loop and since that's already in the opposite hemisphere, wrap it around and I'm going to have a bow that's going to stay right where it goes. It will not be going that way. So there I go. And again, I'll just open that up. But I want to show you down here at the bottom. This this is fine. Sometimes it ends up being bigger down at the bottom. So what I do is I take those little corners and I'll pull them in. A little piece of tape on there. Pull it in. Same thing on the other side. And it just looks a little bit more finished. It's a little bit nicer. Like that. And pull in. So there, a little bit more finished look then. Okay, so there's that one. And then I've got another one here, which um, this is just a bundle of things. It's, it's several different books and then a gift card. Those can all go in. I don't need to actually put them in, but um, that's another idea. And then the same idea here for another gift in a can is, uh, is to just put it in the bag and then put another bow on the top. So. So there you go. Thanks for watching.